I definitely expected to finish out my fourth year at Roberts, like on campus, making those last memories with my friends and just, you know, kind of pulling everything together, getting ready for my final year. What ended up happening was by the end of March, once everything was pretty much shutting down rapidly, I was, um, I chose to go home to Georgia. It was great to see my family again, but then you could feel a shift, like when COVID started becoming a little more real and a little more troubling. Um, there was a shift in feeling very insecure about like not knowing what's gonna happen to you next. One of my parents faced a uh, job loss. And so now it's like, okay, I'm not really working for like a fun summer job. I'm working to help support, you know, there's now insecurities of, I don't know how we're gonna make ends meet. Those are kind of conversations that like parents and kids don't really always want to like have with each other because you really, you know, you're looking at these two people who want to give each other the world, but your foundation is shaking and you don't really know what's going to come next. Shifting emotionally, it was like what you thought would be a carefree and loving and fun summer was filled with a lot of anxiety and a lot of fear. That fear turned into frustration and so now the person you love most you lash out at them, not because of anything they've done, but from your own lack of understanding of what's coming next. It's like a very thick fog that you can't see two feet in front of you and you just feel like you're kind of like giving up in a sense. I wish I could pinpoint a moment where I just like knew, okay, God, God told me he's going to step in here right now and he's going to provide this for us. but. I can't because it was all in his timing. It was, he came in and he provided on his timing how he knew what we would need, when we would need it. And it was nothing that I could have even prepared myself to try to pray for, to try to ask for. Like opportunities of income came for my family in ways that I would never have even thought of. Looking back, I couldn't have predicted any of that. I couldn't have even tried to pray for it because it was just, honestly, absolutely the work of his hand. That didn't have to happen. That was really God saying, no, like you're gonna get through this. I'm gonna make this opportunity for you. And it was just, I felt like I was thanking more than I was asking because it was like one role after the another, God was filling and God was providing. I mean, part of the reasons that I got baptized this semester was truly that I was just so like done like leaning on my own understanding like trying to figure things out completely on my own at some point in the summer I felt like I was almost giving up by not having all the answers but really all God was asking was for me to surrender surrender your own understandings of this world like don't give up don't give up on community don't give up on your family don't give up on the, you know on the hardships and on pushing yourself and perseverance he's just saying like just trust in me like have faith like I will provide I will come through on my own time and it will be perfect and it will be fulfilling and it will be blessed for anyone who is still struggling with just not knowing what's coming next there's always a next with God. Like, there always is, and it's gonna be on His perfect timing.